Hello Cinematech Geeks, here we are at Sony and Sony has some very interesting announcements this year um, beginning with their new projector and I'll put you to the product manager and he can tell us all about it. Here we are, please introduce yourself. Hello, uh, I'm Steve Banazic, I am the product manager for Sony Digital Systems uh, here in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Las Vegas. <laughs> We're going to talk about the R220. Slash one. This is our uh, latest uh, rev of the uh, digital cinema 4K projector. It's here behind me. Um, it is uh, FIPS becoming FIPS compliant, DCI compliant, as fluid as that may be. But we will be fully compliant uh, probably around October time frame, I believe, is where we're at with that. Uh, you can see everything is all inclusive here with the R220. So we've got the projector head up on top. We've got our uh, LMT200 server here in the bottom, along with a UPS system, SMS server, a little LAN network inside for all, con all the control. All this control can be done either through the PJT, which you see up here, so I can create SPLs, I can import KDMs, uh, import content. All uh, control can be done through the PJT. Uh, also, I have control here with the, uh, through the RS-232 port, and the ingest port here um, on the back. Lamp install is here with this back panel. Uh, you got a little status page uh, here on the, uh, on the back of the R220. Uh, as you come around, you can see that this is a fully enclosed, uh, secure environment. Any of these uh, keys were to open up, uh, it would set off a switch and it would um, delete all your KDMs and you'd have to reinitialize the CSS to, to start, up, uh, start this show up again. Coming around to the front, we have the new uh, 3D lens, which is on the front here. This is uh, uh, designed by Sony and is made by Fujinon. Uh, it's a dual lens system. We, uh, the reason that we went this route is because we've got enough real estate on the front of the 4K chip to be able to uh, put two 2K images. So instead of doing a sequential 3D like DLP does, we do what's called an optical 3D. So we've got uh, left eye image and right eye image up all the time on the screen. Uh, we use no triple flash is what that means, exactly. And then we use Real-D circular polarization filters on the front. Um, this product is sold by Real-D for us. They, uh, anytime if you buy an R220 and want 3D, you would contact Real-D uh, to get uh, the lens and the filters all in one case for you. Now, now with this system, uh, what size 2D screen and 3D screen can you support with this system? At the present time, for the 2D screens, we can uh, support up to a 25-meter uh, or 65-foot wide screen um, with a 1.2 gain uh, uh, on the screen uh, for 2D. For 3D, top and bottom masking, we can attain 40 feet wide. And for side masking, we can attain 50 feet wide. Now, we just brought out a new anamorphic lens for the 2D applications uh, that should push us up to about 70, 72 feet. I still have to do some measuring and technical specs on that. Now you said before that you had um, a, a media player built into the bottom of the unit so can you only use the Sony media player or can you use any of the other DCI media players? The system is designed to be used with the LMT200. There is, uh, we use a two uh, which look like uh, SCSI type connectors that run from the back of the LMT200 up to the projector. There is alternative content inputs on the uh, side of the unit that you could input uh, a different uh, uh, server, but uh, the, we don't have the uh, CineLink capabilities, so using another server for encrypted content would make it a little different since we're not, uh, we don't have the CineLink. So, so basically, your server can play all the current DCI, DCPs, etc. So, so going forward, that, that, that's the solution. Um, I also wanted to cover uh, this being a, a 4K projector. It's the only 4K projector on the market. Um, what's your opinion on uh, 2K and 4K, and when when should we really be moving to 4K, and, and what's Sony doing about that? Most uh, movies, I don't know if, if you've already heard, uh, AMC theaters here in the States have uh, agreed to uh, purchase, you know, uh, or populate their theaters with our 4K projector. That equals out to about 4,500 screens. So that alone is going to push the studios to start producing more 4K film. 
Also, uh, Sony, from this point on, SPE, Sony Pictures, has said that they will start producing all their films in 4K. Uh, anything that's in post now, it will not be. Or, of course, anything that is uh, produced in HD is not going to be. But if it's on film, it will be uh, spit out onto, uh, digitally onto 4K. Paramount is starting to make some more promises about creating more 4K. The Soloist, which was just screened here last night, uh, was a 4K uh, DCP that was shown over at Theater Arts. So that alone is going to start pushing more uh, people to, you know, you're going to need 4K. The studios are starting to produce more. As you go on with the next, uh, next year, you're going to see a lot more films in 4K. The studios are starting to see the uh, benefits of having 4K.